The Diamond Chase Company has been manufacturing quality screen printing frames since 1968. The drawbar frame, tension quick, roller chase, and stretch and glue tubular frames are the four frame product lines manufactured by Diamond Chase. This is the instructional video for the Tension Quick Fabric Stretcher. The Tension Quick is an affordable stretcher for the stretch and glue systems, designed specifically for the smaller shops who want high and accurate fabric tensions. The Tension Quick offers a low cost system capable of adjusting to various frame dimensions and tensioning to very high levels. The Tension Quick operates as a roller type frame that works on a ratcheting system. It is manufactured in three different models. The adjustable tension quick comes as four separate pieces with L brackets welded at one end of the channel. The four pieces are interlocked around the frame to be stretched and adjusted snugly around it. The stretcher can also be manufactured as a fixed size stretcher for shops with consistent frame sizes who don't need the flexibility of an adjustable model, but who'd rather have the quickness and convenience of a welded stretcher. The tension quick frame can also be constructed as a printing frame, welded together with mitered corners and closed ends. The tension quick frame is excellent for shops who like the speed and ease of a roller type frame with the convenience of a square profile with a solid one piece frame construction. The channels for the tension quick come in two types, standard and heavy duty. All adjustable stretchers and welded stretchers or frames under 48 inches require the standard channel. Only welded stretcher and frames over 48 inches with high tension require the additional support webbing inside the heavy duty channel. There are two types of locking systems available in the Tension Quick, keystone or top loading double nylon. The keystone locking system uses a single nylon rod on each side that is extruded in a taper. The keystone rod is slid in the end of the roller with a groove similar in shape to the rod. The newest of the locking systems, top loading, uses two round nylon rods which are snapped into the locking groove with the assistance of a wheel type insertion tool. The round nylon rods for the top loading system are color coded for different diameters and their usage differ with mesh counts. A white rod is used with high mesh counts and its diameter is the largest of the three. The tension quick is standard with a blue rod which is used for medium mesh counts commonly used with the tension quick. An even smaller diameter black rod can be used for low, low mesh counts or fabrics which are hard to lock in place. The nylon rods can be specially ground for unusual applications. Assemble the adjustable tension quick snug around the frame which the fabric is to be stretched. Be sure to have the L bracket on the right hand side as it is being put in position. Wrap the stretcher tight around the frame and use shims in each corner to elevate the frame one sixteenth of an inch but not more than one eighth of an inch above the stretcher. The roller must always be returned into a starting position prior to the stretching process. To do this, rotate the roller outward until it becomes loose in the channel. Then lift it upward and spin it 180 degrees so that the flat portion next to the locking groove will allow the roller to drop back into the channel. Be sure to keep the roller flush with the open end of the channel. Press the roller firmly to the bottom of the channel and rotate two to three clicks back until the locking groove is exposed. Cut the fabric and tear down the weave of the fabric so that one to one and a half inches of fabric extend past each roller. To install the fabric in the keystone locking system, first lay the fabric over the stretcher parallel with the first side and use the plastic insertion tool to groove the fabric in the roller. Next, slide in the nylon rod from outside the roller with the widest portion of the rod facing downward. Install fabric into opposite sides until complete. On the second side, be sure to align the fabric parallel with either the third or fourth side and then insert the plastic card and slide in the nylon rod. A rounded end should be at one end of the rod to allow it to slide over the fabric easily. The locking rod should also be flush with the roller opposite the inserting end to prevent tears. A portion of the rod should stick outside the roller to allow for easy removal. The keystone locking system also requires the removal of slack from the center of the stretcher. The pre-tensioning is done by pulling upward with constant pressure on the excess mesh while tapping in and out with the plastic card. Pre-tensioning should be done on all four sides and when completed the fabric should be even and not touch the stretching surfaces or table. 
To lock the fabric in the top loading rollers, first align the torn edge of the fabric parallel with the first side of the stretcher. Then lock the two nylon rods in simultaneously at the center with the inside rod slightly ahead of the outer. Lock the rods in both directions. Notice that the rods do not extend the full length of the roller. Only the frame area is tensioned. Working with the opposite side, align the fabric with the free sides and insert the two nylon rods into the roller at one edge of the frame to be stretched. Align the fabric parallel to the stretcher and roll the rods into place. The rods should rest centered within the frame being tensioned and should seat fully to the bottom of the locking groove. Install the fabric in the remaining rollers. Be sure to keep the hand aligning the fabric well in front of the insertion tool and work in sections moving the hand each time. Be sure that the mesh is parallel and that it feels even. Initial tensioning of the rollers is done in an opposite fashion. Rotate opposite rollers somewhat equal amounts while monitoring the high tension areas, the corners. Place the wrench all the way into the end of the roller. To achieve higher tension levels or when stretching high mesh counts, corner softening must be done to prevent tearing of the mesh. To soften the corners on the keystone system, simply mark the edge of the roller and insert the plastic card on top of the nylon rod directly next to the L bracket. Then tap down gently on the plastic card until a pocket is created in the mesh. To soften the top loading system, mark the roller in the corner and roll the insertion tool back and forth with the majority of the pressure on the inside rod and watch the mark. Automatic corner softening can be done on medium to coarse fabrics. To automatically soften the corners, cut the nylon rods to the inside dimension of the frame being stretched and round the ends in a pencil sharpener. Be sure to center the rods with the frame being stretched. Now that excessive corner tension has been eliminated, a second or final tensioning may be applied. A tension meter should be used to ensure proper and accurate tensioning. Apply screen adhesive from top of mesh to frame below. Spread glue out to cover with the frame and spray activator in small sections. Cut out when adhesive cures. To dismantle the unit, either press down the keystone rod the full length of the roller and slide out or pull out the outside nylon rod in the top loading system to remove both rods. The assembly and operation of the tension quick frame is as simple as that. And this has been the instructional video for the tension quick frame brought to you by the leaders in the industry, the Diamond Chase Company.